everyone, and welcome to Discovery Land Online. My name is Miss Evelyn, and this is Miss Michelle. Okay, have you guys ever seen a timer like this? Isn't it cool? It is so cool. You can watch the time go by, I the know. sand and everything. Sometimes we have to use a timer when we have to wait for something. Mm -hmm. Today, we're going to talk about some people who had to wait on God. Today, we're going to learn about four people from the Bible who trusted God. The first person was Noah, who was saved by God on a big boat. The second was Moses, who God used to help save God's people by doing a miracle so they could walk through the Red Sea on dry land. The last people are Abraham and Sarah, who trusted God for a promise of a miracle, that they would have a baby in their old age and have as many children as there are stars in the sky. That is so cool, Miss Michelle. I'm so excited to learn about them. God was faithful to all of these people and they faithfully trusted and followed him too. Our wonder truth today is God is faithful and good. Let's do that one more time. All right. Ready? God is faithful and good. Good job, guys. Today, we'll learn about how faithful and good God is and how he always keeps his promises. So let's sing about our good God together. I love 
around the way that God made me. Wake up in the morning and I wiggle my toes. Wiggle my toes. Oh, oh. I stretch out my arms and I'm scratching my nose. Scratching my nose. Oh, oh. for my mom to get home. She promised she'd give me a hug when she gets back. That sounds very special. It is. I love hugs from my mom. Do you know what time it is? Mm, let's see. It's almost three o'clock. Oh, good. Oh, good. She said she would be home after three. It's been very hard to wait. I bet, Tack. Waiting is difficult, isn't it? I wish she could just hurry up. I think a lot of people feel that way sometimes. Did you know that people in God's big story sometimes had to wait hundreds of years for something they were promised? No, they did? That must have been so hard. It was, but they knew that all the things God promised them were so good and worth waiting to receive. Like a gift? Sometimes it's difficult waiting for gifts, too, like on my birthday or at Christmas time. Yes, the things God promised and then gave were good, like gifts. That sounds great. I can't wait to hear more. What time is it now? It's 3 o'clock. Yay! I'm going to go wait by the door for my mom to get home. I'll see you later. Okay, Tack. See you later. Have you ever been curious about why some things take so long to happen? Have you ever been curious about God's promises? 
Today's wonder truth is God is faithful and good. Today we'll discover about some faithful followers who waited a long time for God's promises to happen. Before we start today's part of God's big story, we need to get ready, so let's put on those pay attention glasses. Ooh, what are yours, Miss Michelle? Big sunshines. Ooh, mine are big clocks, because we're talking about waiting. Oh, yes. Yes. Ooh, I don't like to wait. Okay, <laughs> let's get those listening ears. Click them on. And we're gonna zip, lock, and button on three. One, two, three, zip, lock, and button. All right, let's ask God to get our hearts ready for the story. God, thank you for always keeping your promises. We know we can trust you because you are faithful and good. Thank you for being with us today. May your Holy Spirit speak to us as we listen today. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. In today's story, you're playing the part of a faithful follower. Ooh. Faithful followers believe God and his promises. They trust God even when they have to wait a long time for his promises to happen. So now we're going to stand up. And when we say, faithful followers, go, you can show me your best action pose. I'm so excited. All right, here we go. All right, now you guys try it. Faithful followers, go. Good job. Okay, let's get started. Our first faithful follower is Noah. Faithful followers, go! Noah listened to God when no one else would and built an ark before one drop of rain fell from the sky. Mm. The people and animals on his ark, which is a type of boat mm -hmm. that survived a flood, God showed that he always keeps his promises. What faith! I know it. Our next faithful follower is Moses. <gasps> faithful followers, go! <laughs> Good job, Miss Michelle. <laughs> In faith, Moses led God's people out of Egypt and through the Red Sea. So scary. Can you imagine that? But Moses knew God would keep his promise and kaboom! God did! God parted the sea for Moses and God's people so they could escape and then closed it before they could be caught. What faith! Our next faithful followers are Abraham and Sarah. Faithful followers, go! <laughs> we both did the same one! That was so much fun! <laughs> Good job, guys. Okay. God promised Abraham that he would make him the father of a great nation. Mm. Abraham and Sarah waited and waited and waited for God to do what he had promised. Then when they were very old, God gave them a baby and they had so many grandkids and great grandkids. After counting them would be super tough. That'd be hard to count them I all. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. They were like as numerous as the stars. Yep. God did what he had promised, and bam, what faith! The Bible is filled with people who believe that God was faithful and good. Even when they couldn't see what God was doing, they still had faith in God. God's ultimate promise was fulfilled through Jesus for them, and for you, and for me today. God is greater than any superhero. Faithful followers, go! Good job, guys! <laughs> Good job. All right, in our best superhero voices, let's shout out today's wonder truth. Are you ready? God, God is faithful, faithful and good! Today we learn God is faithful and good. He always keeps his promises. He never leaves us. He is faithful and good all the time. Let's celebrate God's goodness and praise Him with our dancing. During the song, we'll give you a different activity to do. As you do it, think about how good God is and sing at the top of your lungs. Let's gallop. March. 
church. Good job, guys. Okay, now stomp your feet. It's time to run. All right, hurry, jump. Okay, let's talk to God. God, thank you for always keeping your promises. Thank you for being faithful and good. We love you in Jesus' name, amen. Okay guys, it's time for our blessing. So let's hold out your hands like you are receiving a gift from God. Children, may you remember that no matter what you face, God is faithful and good. May you know he always keeps his promises and will always do what he says he will do.